You know, the first day I got this Jeep, I was so excited. I'd wanted a Jeep for a long time. It was my 30th birthday. I finally got to purchase this 07 Jeep Wrangler. And day one, I take my wife out on a date. We get done with dinner, and I back up, and I ran right into a light pole. Totally damaged the bumper, put a big hole in it. And, I mean, I was absolutely crushed. Here was my Jeep Wrangler, this thing that I was going to love so much. And, of course, it already had a big dent in the bumper. You know, I think it was God's subtle way of reminding me that there is no thing, there is no gift that can replace him as God. And that is true for all of us. See, as people, what we tend to do is we take things, we take the gifts that God gives us, and we elevate them as gods. We seek value and joy and purpose and meaning out of these things, and we put all of our longings in them, and they ultimately let us down. They get dents in the bumpers. And I love what Jesus says in Matthew 13, 44. He says, the kingdom of heaven is like treasure hidden in a field which a man found and in his joy sells everything he has to buy that field now that's what it looks like to follow the lord jesus that's what it looks like to worship god to find him as the treasure of the universe the treasure that's worth more than everything else so that you're willing to sell whatever you need just to have more of him that's what worship is it's giving worth to god it's treasuring the lord jesus christ so your ultimate joy your ultimate satisfaction, your ultimate meaning and purpose comes from Jesus, not from anything else. And if you'll do that, then Jesus will be your God. And all these things will be gifts that you can simply enjoy. Because the truth is, this Jeep in a hundred years will be in a landfill somewhere. It will be worthless. But in a billion years, King Jesus will be reigning on his throne on high as the glorious one. So evaluate your life. And make sure none of the gifts that God has given you has moved into the place of God. Because we only want to worship the one true living God who is Jesus Christ.